Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, we'll learn about what is inheritance in Python and how to do it practically. But before seeing some code examples, let us first understand what actually is the concept of inheritance in a programming language. Now, inheritance is defined as the ability of one class to derive or you can say inherit the properties of other class. Now, using this concept, we can easily model real-world relationships. The second thing to keep in mind is that it provides reusability of code which means that you don't have to write the same code over and again you just write it once and whenever it is required you can reuse it as many times as you want now this means using inheritance you can add more features to a class without actually modifying it so now we know what inheritance is let us see some code examples in order to grasp the concept in one go so i'm back in my visual studio code let us define a class and i will name it as person and then I will write the constructor function to do some basic initialization stuff. So def double underscore init double underscore the self parameter, the name, age, gender, and country. And let us set them self dot name as name, age, gender, and country. Now let us define some methods for our person class. So print person details self and first I'll print the name of the person so name of the person is self dot name let us copy and paste this down below three times and then I will use multiple cursors here and change the property names so age of the person and then gender and then I will say country of the person is self.country. Now to get the name of the person, let us define a method and I will name it as get name. So def get name self and return self dot name, which is the name of the current instance that we are working on. And now let us define more such methods like get age. Return self dot h get country self and return self dot country and now let us say we have a method to check whether the person is a developer or not so i can define a method as dev pass on the self parameter and for a normal person who is a layman for now let us say we will return false now right outside the class here what I want to do is I want to make a relationship between a person class and a developer class that I'm going to define in just a minute. So the relationship here is a developer is a person. Let us define a class for the developer now. So right here I will define a new class and name it as developer. And this will inherit from some base class which in this case is person. So I can define the name of the class from which we want to inherit within the parenthesis. Now here I will again define the same isDev method which we defined in the base class. Let us return true from here. So right here is the person class which is the base class from which we are inheriting the properties like name, age, gender and country. And then we have a developer class which is a derived class which inherits the properties from our base class. So now let us create objects for each of these classes. So I can say person object and person. So let us pass the name of Alex, age is 22, male and USA. And then let us run the methods on our person object. So person object dot get age and print person object dot print person details and now let us run the file python inheritance dot py and you can see we are getting the age of the person and then we are printing the person details to the terminal now before creating a developer instance let us define the constructor function for our developer class so i can say right here def double underscore init 
double underscore self and this will take on name age gender country and then salary company and is junior so first let us set up other properties that pertains to a person because we know a developer is a person in the end so I will receive these properties which are name age gender and country in my constructor for developer class and it is the responsibility for the person class to do the initialization of these properties for our developer instance so I can say person dot I will run the constructor function and I'll pass on the name of the person first self the name of the person age gender and country to the constructor function of the base class so it will be the responsibility of the base class to do the initialization for these attributes on our developer instance because in the end our developer instance is also based on the person class as well because we are inheriting from the person class and now we can do the initialization of other properties like salary company and is junior right in the constructor function of our developer class so i can say self dot salary set that to salary self dot company set that to company and self dot is junior set that to is junior so now let us create the developer object so creating a developer instance so developer object developer and here I will pass on the values for our attributes Mary and age is 23 female countries UK salaries say 2 lakhs and Spotify and is junior is false and now let us try to run the methods on the developer instance so developer object dot is dev and now let us run the file and you can see it says true so now we also have the ability to access the methods and attributes defined on the base class in our derived class which is the developer class because we are doing inheritance so let us print so I can say print developer object and now we can access the method that is sitting in our person class which is get name and developer object dot get country and we can also access the methods and attributes that are defined on the developer class which we did here we access the method is dev which is defined on the developer class using our developer instance so here I can also print developer object dot salary and now if I run the file you can see we are getting the desired output now as a side note if you notice it carefully we inherited all the methods and attributes of the base class into our derived class which holds true for the is dev method as well which was originally defined on our base class which is person as you can see here we inherited that method into our derived class but we gave our own implementation to it in the derived class by returning true which practically means we overwrite it the implementation that was provided to us by the base class in our developer class so this was all i wanted to cover about inheritance we'll also learn about types of inheritance in a later video so if you like the video do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to get the notification for all the upcoming uploads and i will see you guys in the very next one